and welcome back to the channel. My name is Michelle McDaniel, local dog mom of three. They all are here right now. You guys cannot see them because they are all sleeping and being very good little baby. Oh, you can see Butters right here. Miss Yoshi is on the pillow and Mr. Rigby is right here being a good little boy. He's doing great with training. And I'm really happy about that because we've been working at it a lot and I'm tired. But if you're new, welcome to the channel. This is where I share my opinion on a variety of topics that will probably offend somebody out there because this is the internet. A place where people really enjoy to be upset about pretty much anything. And if your opinion does not line up with theirs, they will tell you that you are some type of phobic. You just threw your phobia everywhere. All over the wall, streets, everything. You just phobic everything up. So I literally got this message right now. I usually don't check my DMs every single day, but when I do, you guys do not disappoint. You send me some very good stories that I personally would have not heard of unless you guys sent them to me. Cause once again, I don't read this stuff, but y'all seem to. So thank you, little offensive minions. So I saw this and I was very intrigued because there is a photographer out there that charges more for plus size women. So that intrigued me. Why does he charge more for plus size women? I'm not too sure why someone would do that. Maybe today I am going to side with the fat positive group because I'm sure someone from that group heard of this and it's getting very blown up at the moment. The only thing that I can think of as to why you would charge a fat person more is maybe the Photoshop. You have to do like more, there's more skin to cover. You have to you know, do more editing to the skin or whatever they do, the cellulite, because people usually want that to be re um, reduced when it's like a professional photo shoot. So that's the only reason as to why I would think that he would charge more. But we are gonna find out today. We're going to read this article together and see why this man charges more for fat women. People are divided over a photographer who charges plus size models more. For years, the modeling industry has demanded models to be thin and follow strict diets to maintain skinny fit figures. However, plus size modeling is more normalized now as body positivity and body neutrality have become powerful forces when it comes to representing women in all shapes and sizes. One photographer is facing backlash after a modeling agent learned that he charges plus size models an extra $100 for his service. However, there may be more than meets the eye when it comes to this photographer's story. Mm, are you intrigued? Because I am. The NYC photographer is being canceled. Of course. New York photographer William Lords was exposed by Megan Miss Vizquez, owner of the modeling agency Model Nexus on TikTok. Like she exposed him on TikTok or she owns a modeling agency on TikTok. Because the second one's weird. But anybody can be a model. TikTok people make a lot of money. Mervis, we're just gonna call her Megan because I am I know I'm saying that last name wrong. Discovered Lord's alarming business policy in an email listing of Lord's pricing for photos. She noted that there were two different prices that divided models into standard and plus slash curvy. Megan posted a video calling out this out as body discrimination with screenshots from Lord's email. You go, girl. I own a mother agency called Model Nexus, and we specialize in body diversity. And part of what I do as an agent is source good test photographers for my girls. I reached out to William Lords, a New York-based photographer, to ask about his rates and his availability, and this is what I got back. She was interested in connecting with Lords. Sometimes fashion designers charge more for plus size clothing because it uses more fabric, thus increasing the cost to create. Yeah, that's normal. However, there was absolutely no reason she could see for a photographer to charge curvier women more. His listing revealed to Megan that photos for standard women are $950 woo, and $1,050 for plus size and curvy. And her jaw dropped. Her jaw dropped because he charges more for plus size people. My jaw dropped for the price of any of it. Just like a normal thing in the photographer community. I don't know. I am completely sure that you guys work extremely hard and you got. I can't take pictures like you guys do. This is just coming from someone who it's completely fine taking a picture in front of a white wall or out by the lake. As you can see on my Instagram, that's usually the only two places I take pictures because I never leave my house. Anyway, back to the point. People say I talk too much about myself and I'm like, it's my channel. Isn't it occasionally at least supposed to be about me? Models are speaking out about this discrimination. Oh God. He's <laughs> Okay. A model named Sixton Royer, who works with Megan, took to TikTok as well to call out Lords. He explains that his fat phobia is showing. Just like Megan, Royer was baffled because it's unheard of photographers to have higher rates for models based on their own standard of who's skinny enough. She captioned the video with the words, another day, another 
fucking photographer in the industry. Absolutely disgusting. Lord has spoken out to defend himself. Apparently, Lord was very shocked when he saw Megan's video about his prices and spoke to the New York Post. To set the record straight, he explained that the rate for plus size models is higher because his service packages includes access to designer clothes, and larger size wardrobes are harder to come by and more expensive. Megan, other girl who I forgot her name already, makes up for the added cost of clothing by charging larger women the extra $100. He claims it has nothing to do with targeting fat women and making them literally and figurative pay for their size. Sizes. It's about making a fair profit for his work. In other words, it's called business and making sure that this man still gets paid for his time for the amount of money he puts into the project and that it's fair. Megan. In fact, Lord is considering taking legal action against Megan and Royer. Good for fucking him, and I hope he goes through with it. I hope they get hit hard. I'll tell you why in a second. In fact, I think they're gonna cover it in here. I see a little bit. These accusations have upset him significantly and hurt his career. He explained, I'm a black man in America, and two white women tell me I'm discriminating against them. I'm so hurt by this, nobody is telling the true story. Well, here I am, helping a black man out because this pisses me off. Honestly, Honestly, actually, I'm pretty triggered right now because in this community, this body positive community who's all accepting and loving and love your body, also are people who say, give black people voices, hand marginalized people the mic, make sure to promote black businesses. Black men out here are hurting. We must protect them. I am your white savior. What I personally have to say, I don't think you guys give a f about black people in general. Your pure reason of including black people in your <laughs> stupid movement is to benefit yourself. And this completely shows it. They are willing to drag a black man down, drag his business down without even trying to discuss anything with him because they had an emotional moment because fat women have to pay $100 more for his service that they don't have to get. First of all, how entitled are you and how fake are you as well? Well, this was easy, Royer, whatever your name is. But that's normal because this community is very easy to expose. Listen to black voices. Not this time. Only the ones that your white butt cheeks approve of. Hmm. America, we need to do better. And to the black community, I am here for you. No, you're not. I am here to support you as long as we act the way that you want. And I won't stop until real systemic change has happened and your life is treated as equally as mine. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not see the audacity here? The entitlement and of course, the hypocriticalness. Oh, and how performative these body positive white women are over black people. I cannot. Megan, I didn't forget about you, uh, but you saved yourself. You went private like a little but I know it's in there, I know. Go ahead, Megan, delete your pro-black fake post. We all know you're not really an ally. If this is how you treat a black man that you didn't even talk to. I cannot stand it because I've ran into these white people, usually white women, who are shouting from the mountaintop, Black Lives Matter, promote black people, give black people a voice. And these people do not listen to black people. They only listen to their token black people that stroke their fat ass ego. And yeah, I mean that, completely. I'm not sorry, cancel me. Cancel this five foot two black woman just like you canceled that black man that was minding his own damn business. It's always the white ones. It is always the white activists that have to parade around and tell black people what to do. Listen to black people, they didn't even give him a chance to tell them why they charge more, which is a very good reason. Anyway, I, I still have more to say. Let's get back to this. The article's not over yet. The story becomes more complicated because neither women seem to have asked Lords about his pricing before dragging his name through social media dirt. Okay, I went ahead of schedule from there. But yeah, they didn't even ask him then. This solidifies my opinion as to why I hope these people, <laughs> I hope these two women get drunk. They deserve every single mean comment that's gonna trigger them emotionally and mentally on their little TikTok pages. I don't feel sorry for them. Do I feel sorry for? The black guy who was minding his own business, trying to work, trying to make money, trying to live as a black man in America. And then these two white women had to come around and ruin it. And as a black woman, Whiteys, I'm offended. Actually, I'm very hurt. I'm not gonna be able to sleep at night now. I have emotional trauma just by hearing about this story. As a black woman, I deserve an apology and also do better. Sound familiar? Royer made a follow-up video when she saw that the issue was getting press attention. In it, she cites another interview he did with Newsweek. One she believes just makes him look worse. In it, he explains these same stipulations saying, 
most of the plus size models say what they want, and you know what it is? The high end stuff. They want the stuff that the straight size models have. He claims the looks he has for curvier models come out to about $1,000 per outfit, which he sourced and purchased on his own. $100 is absolutely nothing compared to what I do for these girls. Okay, that's pretty fair. Ryer finds that reasoning to be BS. Of course she does. Of course she freaking does because he is not changing and shifting to exactly what she wants him to say. I mean this from the bottom of my black ass and my black heart. F you women, you are so self-centered, so selfish, so narcissistic. Does this fit under their therapist way in? I just don't throw around the narcissistic word just for anyone. Many people from this group seem very narcissistic, but instead of getting very technical and throwing that word around since everybody else does, I'm pretty confident in using the word selfish, especially in this situation. In the email to Newsweek, she said, if you don't have clothes for a model, tell her to bring her own. No one knows what looks best on your own body type better than yourself. Okay, once again, you don't have to go to this guy. It doesn't matter, you can, there are so many photographers. Okay, and yes, that is an option. Maybe they can discuss that with the photographer. Something that y'all didn't do. You know, the whole pass the mic thing that this group tells others to do, you didn't do it. Or hire a stylist, which will cost this black man more money, and thus raise his prices. You're fool. Stop trying to tell people how to run their own business and create your own. Easy as that. If my agent tried to defend someone like that, I'd fire them on the spot. They should be fighting for me and working to make the industry a better place for everyone, not defending some grass egotistical photographer who thinks he's good enough to pull some shit like this. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, let's keep reading. I'm feeling hot. I usually don't care about these type of things. I just like to laugh at these people who, who just go insane on TikTok and get triggered. But now I'm triggered. I'm so upset by this group that thinks it's just okay to try to drag some guy that's trying to do his job and run his business the way that he wants to run. A black man, let me remind you, the same people that these individuals, at least this group as a whole, say that they protect. Marginalized individual and they are so quick to just want him to go into the ground. That says a lot about an individual and a group. And once again, you guys. Megan, who was also interviewed for this article, says, after speaking with many models, no one has even heard of a higher rate for models with a lot of acne or one who would need exponentially more Photoshop retouching. So to see this applied arbitrarily against women who a photographer deems as non-standard sized is really odd at best and discriminatory at worst. Then don't go to this photographer. In fact, she believes the categories of plus size and curvy to be useless. Every woman, regardless of her dress size, has curves. Oh God, okay, now she's trying to get super technical. Honey, why don't you go talk to the modeling agencies then? Because you know damn well they've got certain body size uh, descriptors for people. Go tell them to stop using the term plus size or curvy if it's offensive. I'd love to see a human being without a curve size is meaningless too. Plus, according to who or what, I think these are unfortunate categorizations that are made because the world still finds it shocking to see any woman above a size two modeling. With 1,830 likes and 380 comments, Megan's TikTok has gotten a lot of buzz. Is that a lot for TikTok? I'm not one of those people who are like, oh, you only got that many views. <laughs> <laughs> but is that a lot for TikTok? I don't feel like that's a 380 comments. That's not a lot, is it? Anyway, not the point. The point is that they're upset and they're dragging this man's business to the ground and he's affected by it. Many people have sided with her stance on Lord's pricing, saying things like, how does it even make sense? Thanks for calling him out. On the surface, this seems like a clear case of discrimination, but after looking to Lord's side of the story, people aren't in agreement. Many are saying that his logic actually adds up. TikTok user RCMom16 wrote, his explanation seems pretty reasonable. It's difficult to find plus size clothing at the same price as regular size clothing. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. Don't these fat positive individuals always complain about not being able to find clothes to fit their ass? And aren't they always complaining that when they do find clothes that fits their ginormous butt cheeks, that it costs more? So doesn't it make sense, business-wise, that this man charge more if he is providing the clothes? You're 
Someone named Smooth Brain Supreme takes things a step forward by calling out Megan and some commenters for making quick assumptions about Lord's reasoning, as they should. These people always want to complain about people judging them about how they look, but these type of groups are the first to just spit out judgment and reacting from straight emotion and not even like conversing with the person. Sorry, little guy, I don't mean to move you. My leg's falling asleep. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. You're gonna go right back to sleep and you're gonna be fine. When something alarming comes on our radars, it's easy to jump on the bandwagon. When we are passionate about a cause, we can get fired up quickly, agree. However, many people believe that this wouldn't be a story if Megan would have simply asked the Lord about his pricing and opened a dialogue, which she didn't. Butters. Yeah, the camera or the microphone's picking up your little, not the, He's done. People are following Megan's post, but don't seem to have researched on their own. There's likely a bigger truth that many people are missing. Apparently in TikTok, Twitter type mob fashion, they are really going crazy in the comment section of Lord's photos and other social media platforms. Candle Witch says he turned off comments on Insta, but you can still go comment on pictures he tagged in on Facebook. I've left about 100 comments already. Y'all really just sit on your ass and do absolutely nothing all day, do you? Yeah. You're fat. And I mean that as an insult. Even if Candle Witch isn't fat, because anything that I say is gonna offend you anyway. So you're fat. If you have time to leave a hundred comments on social media about the way this man's running his business, you are lazy and fat and I don't like you. My dogs don't like you. Let us know what you think of Lord's plus size photography prices in the comments and if you think Megan is in the wrong for jumping to conclusions. Yes, all yes. I. Don't like those women. Anyway, I'm done with this. Thank you for sending me this. If you guys have other stories you want me to react to, please send me a, a DM. I might not see it, but I might see it like I saw this one. And it helps because I would never come across this tomfoolery on my own. So thank you for watching my rant. The dogs also thank you. Please hit the subscribe button if you found any ounce of this entertaining, or at least if you guys think my dogs are cute, they're in almost every video. And I will see all of your beautiful faces, minus Megan and Ryan. I don't like you. Next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums.